Okay. Good morning. There's our pile. Or empty pile. Got the usual materials to process. Got a piece of paper. Today we're using the Warcraft Boondock Saints knife. 3CR13 MOV. We're trying to see if it'll survive eight hours of continuous or normal. Okay, let me rephrase that. Three hours of EDC cutting of various sorts. So it's cutting paper. Excellent. Feels very smooth. And uh, we'll go from there. So I got some new materials also. Uh, I got some pool noodle material. Anything on my desk that I can show you that's new. Not on my desk. But uh, the usual other things. Rope twine. Tape. <coughs> Plastic. Okay, so, uh, cutting my hair while I'm doing this too, but, uh, mm, a fair amount of material. CR 13 MOV. This knife is slicey, similar to its brother, uh, the Zelda knife. So, yep, keep going. You know, if I was a professional, I would notice these things. I bet I did happen to notice, notice this right now. So, there is a coating on the blade. Um, but I don't know if this, how it's shiny on the edge, came about or if it was already on there. Um, see, so I don't know if it's wearing the coating out a little bit, exposing the blade, but, uh, or edge. I have another one of these knives though. I'll have to dig it up and find out. I'll uh, update it in this or a future vlog. But I just thought it was kind of cool. So, this thing is uh, still quite slicey. I'm quite impressed. And, uh, yep. Here's my mess. Okay, so uh, I had an hour-long meeting, so I have not been able to cut as much, actually, at all during that meeting. So we're going to go ahead, though. It's halftime, and start adding more materials to the cut list. So there's the, what we've processed so far. We're going to add in plastic packaging. I bought some of this gauze from Dollar Tree. Um... here oh erasers well one eraser wooden pencil here's an example of plastic packaging just stuff that you would use a knife for so nothing crazy these are not torture tests these are realistic usage tests I like taking uh, ramen noodles and putting some soup and making ramen noodles with it so works really good now I can't remember if I did a cut test so we'll do another cut test so there you go I have not touched up the blade yet 
Uh, oh, also, I bought a foam noodle. So that's a piece of it, obviously, but I'll be cutting into that too. So I wanted to show this to you. This uh, Smith & Wesson Victory, I believe it's called. So I was saying in the initial first impressions video that this felt like grip tape and it literally is skateboard grip tape. So I am going to take this off. It's kind of odd though, it's got holes, but I'm going to take this off and clean it up and then we'll see about what to go from there. But yeah, that grip tape does not feel good. It feels like chalkboard, like you're, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Oh, what time is it here? Okay, so I got about an hour left. Let's check this edge. And I have not had to touch it up. Oops, 3R, C, uh, 3 CR13 and movie steel. I can tell it's getting duller. But it's still cutting paper. This wet stuff is uh, hand sanitizer gel. Mac and cheese and rotisserie chicken. Okay. So just want to give a small sample or some of the stuff that I've been cutting today. There's some hair paper, the insides of paracord string, plastic packaging, paperboard, copier paper, cardboard packaging, cardboard, pool noodle foam, packaging, so That's just some of the stuff. And we're done. Because my brain is fried now. I did not touch up this 3CR13 MOV edge at all today. And it still cuts paper. This is the second Wartech knife that I've tested that did not need touching up. Or sharpening. So, as far as an 8 hour EDC test, this is just as good as an 8 CR13 MOV test that I did. Uh, no blade play. I don't know where that other knife is right now, but I don't know if that's coat or that came off or it was already like that. That edge coating. But uh, still opens fine. Still centered. Clip was really comfortable, not as noticeable as the others. Uh, I'll have to do the carry test another day. No flipper tab, which I honestly like. It is assisted open. 3CR13 MOV steel, good lockup still, right there in the center. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice knife. I love the handle shape. Love the blade shape. That's uh, slicey from day or not day one from the get go. 3CR13 MOV has done just as well as 8CR13 MOV in my eight hour EDC test. Well, technically seven hours since I had a meeting today. So I'm going to clean up this mess and uh, give you a sneak peek of 
tomorrow's edge, tomorrow's blade, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Smith & Wesson Sideburn. 8CR 13 MOV Steel. We'll see how that does tomorrow.